I'm Frankie Malloy, and I'm co-director of the Motion Capture Hub. Particular projects that I've focused on with the police and military, such as how manufacturing tactical vests and body armour can influence musculoskeletal health within these populations. I'm Sandy Walmot, and I'm a co-director of the Motion Capture Hub. As a researcher, my main focus at the moment is on swinging motions. So things like hockey, baseball, golf. Um, but also I've done a lot of work with paddle sports, so sprint kayaking and canoeing, for example. I'm interested in, in movement analysis in general. Um, so that has particularly led to some uh, interesting challenges. So different applications require us to refine our practice and, and, and overcome different, different obstacles to, to movement capture. And that has led, for example, to working with animal biomechanics and also into flight aerodynamics. I'm Alex Rodriguez and I'm a research associate at the MoCap Hub. I lead the research on our running clinic where I generate MATLAB reports and provide clients with biomechanical analysis on their movement. I'm Brett Still and I'm a research associate with the Motion Capture Hub. My focus is on using electromyography or EMG to understand muscle activity both in terms of human movement analysis and equipment interaction design. EMG provides useful information on muscle activation patterns, muscle coordination, muscular imbalances and fatigue responses. This provides valuable information for sports performance, fatigue monitoring and uses in clinical settings including physiotherapists, rehabilitation programs and training. I am Beth and I am a research associate and a PhD student here at the University of Lincoln. My PhD is looking at the effects of the menstrual cycle on coordination within female sprint athletes. We are looking at three phases across the menstrual cycle, so the three phases being early follicular, late follicular and mid luteal. These are to align with hormone concentrations. Our purpose of this is to hopefully adapt training to better suit female athletes, so therefore to reduce injury risk and enhance performance. 